Hey everybody, welcome to my Ninjago analysis of the Firstborn and the Fable Golden Armor. Um, so basically talking about, you know, everything we learned about these two things in the series so far. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back right after this intro. Alright, so uh, anyway, uh, starting this off, basically, uh, you know, in the recent episode we learned about the dragon armor, the dragon sword, and the firstborn, basically, and Iron Man, uh, Iron Baron's <laughs> uh, history. Um, so anyway, basically, starting off with the firstborn, uh, we learned obviously the firstborn is the firstborn, and as dragon as we put it, it, uh, is a uh, one dragon that basically no one's officially seen what it looks like or officially knows anything about. These are just all their speculations. So obviously, uh, it's the mother of all dragons. Uh, it possesses all the elemental powers of all its spawns. So every dragon's power it can harness. So it can use any element. And also the the Iron Baron has actually, you know, it's probably obviously seen it before because he obviously tried to capture it and has failed many many times uh, because obviously the the reason the Iron Baron looks the way he does is because obviously the firstborn uh, basically took his arm, his legs, his eye, his um oh wait no I said arm uh, you know all those pieces and also as they put it took his pride so he's, that's why he's so grumpy so uh, obviously he has a grudge against the uh, firstborn uh, and so he's basically been looking forward to his life. And that's basically why in the last episode, this is a spoiler by the way, he basically uses the ninjas as bait. He uses the elemental powers and says that power attracts power. Because um, I feel, I think he was actually trying to lure out the firstborn. Also, that he has also been looking for the firstborn's nest, the one place that the firstborn goes a lot which contains the Golden Armor. So this is the first reference of the Golden Armor in this season. So, with that said, that's the first one basically explained. So, probably the first one was, you know, the one that fought the Uni um, mostly, right? And got probably destroyed all the Uni, or got rid of the Uni or something. But anyway, moving on, uh, speaking of the Golden Armor, uh, what we learned about the Golden Armor is that the Golden Armor was obviously worn by the first Magician Master, which, you know, was... Pretty obvious. I mean, I saw that coming all the moment I saw the sets. I'm not kidding. I was like, okay, well, there's only been really one, two people who ever wielded the golden power, Lloyd and the first Prince of Master. So, hmm. So, yeah, it, it was pretty obvious that it was seen. Um, I also think that the golden armor was forged by the first Prince of Master because it would make sense that he forged it. And also that the Golden Armor is basically whoever possesses the Golden Armor controls Firstborn. Uh, so, but I, for the first Winter Master, I don't think he actually controlled her. I think he more like bonded with her kind of thing. Because it's think of it like Hiccup and Toothless from How to Train Dragon. That would have been the Firstborn and the first Winter Master's kind of relationship. That's what I say. Also, the first one probably could have been first meter to mother's mother. We don't know. Because <laughs> we know that they're having it. But anyway. So obviously that uh, is a thing. That's what the Golden Armor is basically about. So, as people thought um, before, I remember people were saying, oh, the Golden Armor is what they'll need to get home. No. Probably the Golden Armor will be needed to control the firstborn, and then firstborn will probably be the way to get home, most likely. Uh, but maybe there's a way... Now, really, it's how the first Winter to Master arrived. Um, I would say, for me, I would say the, probably the way to get to Ninjago is the same way they got to... Remember that realm, the Clown Kingdom realm that they went to, where they went through that kind of gateway, the doorway, that opens every, like, few years or something, or, like, passes over a mountain is the only way to enter it? There's probably, a, like, a gateway like that in the first realm. Uh... Either that or the Firstborn. But we know the Golden Armor does not do it. So anyway, that's basically Golden Armor. Now, for the Firstborn, for the, for the, um, 
golden the dragon sword i mean sorry um now what we learned about this is the f dragon sword is actually made from dragon bone and it was actually or dragon scale probably not bone otherwise it would be with that so i would say more dragon scale since it was carved from the firstborn dragon you will see a big gaping hole unless we see a big gaping hole in the firstborn or like a scar in the firstborn it's probably a scale that fell off the firstborn so we'll either see a scar meaning it's a bone from inside the firstborn or it's a scale and we'll see a missing scale that's what it is but anyway basically it's carved from the firstborn and the one who actually got it is heavy metal heavy metal is the only one who's obviously been able to get anything from the firstborn but it, <laughs> which is a sword other than that see the iron baron is obviously failed so obviously heavy metal probably stronger than the iron baron i have to say i think he's he's obviously stronger i mean the iron baron and yeah i mean the iron baron's probably not so young now but he would have been young back then and yet he still failed and lost his legs so you know heavy metal's obviously better than the uh, iron baron <laughs> no i'm just i'm just messing with it. but still so basically that's how the dragon sword was formed it was created by heavy metal and that's why heavy metal is wielding it so it is actually the the sword has nothing to do with the armor a lot of people thought yes in the sets the golden samurai is wielding it but he it has nothing to do with the golden armor nothing uh but anyway so that's basically uh my analysis of the firstborn and golden armor and golden sword, dragon sword uh, make sure you like share and subscribe to this video. Subscribe. <laughs> um, I'm messing up on words these days. Oh my goodness. Um, and uh, check back every day for more Ninjago awesomeness. Although, uh, probably won't be. It'll be all compacted into a week now. And then there won't be much Ninjago stuff until season 10. Because now the episode's coming daily. But anyway. Um, uh, that does it. So, um. God bless and happy watching uh, Ninjago. Alright, see ya!